my name is Ashley. Today I'm gonna show you how beautiful basket you can make with those beautiful cotton for these beautiful kittens. What do you want? You want me to make the basket for you? She says yes. All right, you go over there. All right, we're gonna start. First, what we have to do is we take the yarn and this is, it's so easy to do it on your finger. You just put on your finger. I made another beautiful blanket for my dad. It was his 90th birthday. So now I'm gonna make beautiful basket for my kittens. So what you have to do, you put this on your finger and then you twist it two times, just like once and then another one. And you put your hold like this, you do it. The first time what it does, it just kind of twist. So, but again, we have to hold it that way. So it does good job. Let's pretend this, it's done. We do it, we take the yarn. Let me turn like this way. And you go over and you twist. Very simple, you take the yarn you throw over your finger index and the back part goes forward. What it does, it braids it for you. Again, like this. And it goes, you throw the first one, the back one comes forward. And this is how you braid them. And then we're gonna put this round and round and then we're gonna make beautiful basket for beautiful cats or any animal you have, dog, cats, whatever animal you have, they will enjoy to sleep in it. So you throw it on your finger and the back part comes forward. So here it is, it braids very, very beautiful. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take it and we're gonna put round and round and we're gonna sew it, all right. All right, now that you see over here that I braid it and then I took it because it's all together, I braid it heavily because it's so long, I don't wanna go here and there the length. So how would you have to start with this? What I'm going to do, you see the ends, I'm gonna twist it and I'm gonna make it like a, uh, I don't know what you call this, like, like a donut and I'm gonna sew this just like this to make it flat and then it's gonna be like a basket so i want to show you this is the thread i just make it put a little short and i put a little hoop here like twist it and make little little leave it a little hole so when you start you just because it's such a soft cotton and it has spaces it can go through so what you do once you put the needle go from the hoop so just to hold your beginning and then you twist the first two of them you just go through it's not going to show your thread when you pull it because it blends together you can do it different color you can do the same color that you won't see it and then you twist it every time that you twist you just take from the one here and from the one that it's already twisted like you see here now when i twist it like this way you take one uh, braid from the to the old one you can do this with the crochet if it makes it easier for you or with the needle like i said you see the braids you take from one of the braids just like this and go to the next braid that it's already done so what it does it goes circle you might see this side some thread which very hardly you see it but this side it will stay cleaner but then what i did because it's such a soft thing it is i did it some part i went through and i went up to the other side and then i did it this way like I said, because it's a puffy cotton, you would not see the thread. Hardly you see here and there, but it doesn't matter. It's for the kittens, so they will enjoy it all day long to have a little beautiful bed for them. 
Now, after I did this, which the circle, let me show closer. When you twist like this, which it will be the bottom part, of course, you make sure that they are circled the same way the braid will go, turn round and round. And at the end, when it starts to grow, if you tie your, if you pull your thread a little harder, it becomes a little bit like a basket. But if you keep it loose, it will stay flat, and then you can do, and then you can do the sides. Let's say this is a big bed, and then you can put the sides, and you make it a basket, regular, just, you know, round basket. If no, you can, if you pull it, it become a little bit more open basket. Now, this is the way it is, and you do the same way. Nothing is changed. Nothing is changed when you braid it. So I already did one, the basket, which yesterday still I wasn't finished and the kitten was so excited and it went and it slept in it. I want to show you, it came very beautiful basket that I would love to show you. This is her basket. Now while the kitten is here, I'm just going to put, and then after I did the basket, like you see here, you can't even see thread. The design, it shows different if you see it. Over here, I put it straight, but I pulled it a little bit so it becomes like a, you know, up. And then I took the red color and I braided it between first and then I went with my hands. One thing I wanna show you here, this kind of thread when you use it, I have a glue gun over here and this thread, this yarn, you have to be very careful when you cut it. I want to show you. When you cut it, you cannot pull the thread. I already did glue gun over here. I want to cut it for you so you can see. Oh, here it is. When you cut it, you have to be very careful because the thread can run. Do you see the thread over here? And this cotton, it's gonna fall. So just to secure the ends, make sure you cut it first good. Make sure you cut it good and you secure it like rolling it. Or what you do is you just take the glue gun and you glue it. It's such a soft thread. It is that you can roll it and you won't even see the difference that thick it is or not. And it kind of makes a little bit messy to your hands. My hands are very rough that the threads are holding it because I don't take good care of it. So what you do, you glue it again, couple of times like this, and you roll it. So what it does, the ends, it will be hidden and the thread, it won't come out. The glue is hot. And be careful with the glue gun. So what it does, it holds the ends and it will be secure and safe. Now this ball that I did it, of course, it was extra. I rolled it, I braided it, whatever I did, and I glue it so that it stays. And it's something cute and nice that the animal will like to play when he's in the basket. Kitten, it's such a beautiful color that the animal is gonna love the color and she or he, mitten or kitten, they are gonna look very beautiful in it. Here is my mitten, and this is his basket, finished basket, he's smelly. He already slept the night before, before it was finished. Did you like your basket? Did you? This is his basket, it's gonna be, and now we're gonna make one for the mitten. Hi mitten, are you enjoying your bed? Come on, go to sleep, close your eyes. Good girl, come on. Good girl. She went to sleep. That's it. I'm going to sleep too. Good night. She is enjoying. She loves it. I'm glad she's happy. I just done. I'm gonna cut the thread. And congratulations, kitten. This is the girl, and she slept already. 
It's so cozy and comfortable. Good night. And if you like this video, please, please like and subscribe. And I thank you again. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this channel. I want to thank to all my patrons on patriot.com for their support to make my channel possible. Thank you. Here it is, the two kittens sleeping and enjoying together. What a nice colorful bed they have. While they are black, it, they look much better in it. They are such a beautiful cats. Good night.